everyone today I want to show you what is sometimes referred to as the cable stitch or I've even seen it as like three double crochet cross or cross three double crochet I have referred to it in my pattern as XDC just a cross double crochet um, but you can see it here I'm using it in one of my scarf patterns it's this stitch right here I really like it it gives your um, work a bit of openness and it looks just as good on the other side so there really is no right or wrong side here so one of the things i love about that stitch so let's get started with the cable stitch or three double crochet crossover stitch um, one thing to remember with this stitch is that you're always going to work in multiples of four plus two um, because your plus two will be your double crochets or your chain threes on each end so i'm going to start by chaining in multiples of four so one two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So now I should have about 16, let's see if my ball is gonna cooperate with me, 16 stitches. I'm gonna add two more, remember, because it's multiples of four plus two, one, two. Now, depending on how you wanna do your first row, you may need to add additional chains accordingly. So I'm going to do a single crochet for my first row. So I'm gonna add one more stitch because I know that I'm going to skip that stitch when I start to work back down my row for my single crochets. So work your single crochets and then let's come back. So I finished my row of single crochets and it might curl up on you a little bit or a lot depending on your tension so i'm here at the end i'm going to chain three one two three and turn or you can turn and chain three whatever your preference is i'm going to skip the first stitch right here because this is going to act as my first double crochet so i skip a stitch and i'm going to double crochet catching my top two loops do that again for second double crochet and my third double crochet now here is where the crossover comes so here you are you have your three double crochets and you have the skip stitch so you're going to yarn over and you're going to cross over into that skip stitch so that your hook is coming out of the back you're going to yarn over again and pull through and pull up so you're gonna end up with three loops on your hook and you wanna pull up high because you want this to be the same height as your row. You're gonna yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, maybe. There we go, <laughs> okay? So now you have your first crossover stitch. So now we're gonna repeat. We're gonna skip the next stitch. We're gonna yarn over for our double crochet. Skip right here, one. First row is always a little challenging too because uh, you know, you're trying to stabilize it at the same time. And then three, it gets easier, I promise. All right, so now again, we have our three double crochets and we have our skipped stitch. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go into that top two loops of that skip stitch, yarn over and pull through. So now if I can get my yarn to cooperate, there we go. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. All right, we're getting somewhere. Okay, now we have two of our uh, crossover stitches. See, there's the back and the front, if you wanna call it that. We're gonna skip another stitch, and then we're going to go proceed with our three double crochets. One, two, and three all right here we are again we have our skip stitch so we're gonna yarn over and go into that skip steps oh i can't stop talk <laughs> into that skip stitch your hook is coming into the back yarn over and pull through and then you end up with your three loops on your hook here Yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two, okay? Now we have three here. 
get some more of my little yarn out of my little basket. And we're gonna yarn over. And we're gonna skip a stitch into the next stitch for our double crochets. One, first one, here's our second. And here is our third. And then we're gonna yarn over and into that skip stitch, yarn over or under. Maybe that's more of a yarn under, if that's such a thing. You have three on your hook, three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to, come on yarn, we are going to double crochet into this last stitch. All right, people, there we go. That's our first row of the crossover stitch, see? So when you get to the end, you're gonna do repeat, chain, chain three, turn that row, skip that first stitch, and here we go. Three double crochets. See, yarn, you're gonna cooperate with me, maybe, maybe not. Let's see, <laughs> all right, there you go. You see you have your skip stitch here, you're gonna yarn over into that skip stitch. Pull through two and pull through two. And you'll continue to repeat that. Now you don't, if you want to put something in between your um, crossover rows, you can. So see what happens here because we turned the crosses, the crossovers are gonna go in different directions. If you were to instead put a row of, let's say single crochets or double crochets in the middle and then work your crossover on the other side, then you're gonna see all of those um, diagonals going in the same direction. So it really all depends on what you want it to look like, right? There are options there, but you'll continue to work it over and you're gonna have them stacked um, on top of each other like that. So here, just to show you the difference in what I was saying, you see how here the diagonals are all going the same way? And that was because I put a row of um, herringbone single crochet stitches in between uh, the row. So I put in enough numbers that I knew that it would end up putting it into the same direction versus if you don't put anything in between, then you're gonna just have it changing directions, which I think both look great. So it's just up to you. But let me know if you have any questions on the stitch. Thank you so much. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.